we're about to go have some fun. Three years ago to this almost very day, I came here with my Blade Chroma and my girlfriend Gina. Now here, three years later, I'm coming with my Skydio 2 drone and my son and two dogs. Just a couple of weeks ago, these cars were all solid black. They painted them black for the Black Lives Matter movement. And as you can see, they're already completely painted over again. And that's what happens. Even though I'm gonna paint something on it right now, it's only gonna last for a short little time. So I'm gonna bring in the drone and get some cool shots of everything here as well. If you haven't figured it out yet, we are at the Cadillac Ranch right outside of Amarillo. Probably shouldn't have got a cheap black, but we'll see. Okay, somewhere around 1974, there were some artists from San Francisco. They reached out to a bunch of rich guys, and well, they found one that would finance this idea they had. When people say to you, uh, what are those uh, 10 Cadillacs doing out there in your wheat field? Uh, what do you answer? Depends on who they are. When I get a chance, I lie to them. I tell them it's for an Elvis Presley movie, or it's for Evil Knievel to jump over, or maybe it's the Caddy Cult, and it's the new mother church for a home religion. I tell them whatever strikes my fancy. But if, well, I, if I asked you, what would you tell me? Well, I'd have to tell you the truth. The truth is it's a roadside spectacular sculpture made by a group called the Ant Farm, architects from San Francisco. Originally, these things were in pristine condition. Such a thick layer of paint on everything that, I mean, it's crazy how many times these have been painted on, painted over, painted on, painted over. And that thing that I just painted, It'd be gone by this afternoon. These were solid black just a couple of weeks ago and not a single little bit of black shows anymore. It's pretty crazy. The Cadillac Ranch is off of the old Route 66, like a little remaining stretch of it. So if you ever do drive out this way past Amarillo, speaking to you, Dobo, make sure you stop here. Last time I was here, there was almost nobody here. So I was able to fly the drone a lot more. It's still pretty cool to mix in some of those drone shots as well as the GoPro Max shots, which you've already been watching and see how this all comes together. had to put my name on it, right? For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Sean Oz. This is the World of Oz, where I like to bring with you my adventures in the Rocky Mountains and wherever I happen to go. I try to mix in drone footage, GoPro action footage, 360 footage, and all those types of cameras that so many of us love to use. If you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the little bell notification so you don't miss future updates. And that's the Cadillac Ranch. And if you've never been here and you're driving through Texas, or at least through the Panhandle, just past Amarillo, just a few miles west of Amarillo, are a bunch of Cadillacs. Been moved from one location to another. This is the location it was 
last moved at and it's been here for many 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 years since then sometimes you will luck out and you will find some paint laying around that has paints in it but i suggest if you want to paint buy a couple cans yourself and bring it here and go have some fun hopefully you guys enjoyed coming along with me on this stop as i'm driving back to colorado from texas and we'll uh, catch you in the next video because i got a lot more coming from this trip thanks again everyone and we'll see you in the next one